So the third thread of practice, the third way of practicing, is the path of what's called uh, self-liberating awareness or the path of non-duality. And um, the term non-duality, it points to the complete interwoven, indivisible nature of the ground out of which awareness arise, arises. And this ground is described as mind, with a capital M. And then there's uh, awareness as an expression of that ground. And finally, uh, all the phenomena that arises within awareness. So we have mind, awareness <coughs> and uh, manifestation. And these things are seen to be completely indivisible and interdependent. So the non-dual nature is the fact that these three aspects are um, completely um, un, uh, undivis indivisible. They can't be split apart. But we tend to kind of, uh, uh, well, we tend to kind of see these things as separate. So we imagine that this display here, going on in front of us, each one of us, is somehow real and substantial. And we separate that out from our awareness of those experiences. We kind of split those two things into a, a self and, and objects. And that splitting uh, creates a lot of difficulties because we somehow, there's, there's, this display is seen somehow kind of separate from this awareness, my awareness. But this awareness itself is also, uh, is actually an expression of a whole deeper level which we all uh, are partaking in, which is mind itself. So mind is the sort of ground nature, and awareness is a sort of direction or a kind of movement within that ground. So what we're doing in, the, uh, in this uh, final strand of practice is trying to kind of unite the, or, or see that those experiences are indivisible. And the consequences of that uh, we're, not, uh, we're not disturbed by any of this display that is taking place. It's purely uh, a, 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 an enjoyment. We're, we're, um, we're here, you know, there's this kind of endless pleasurable arising in this non-dual experience. Because we're not trying to get do anything with it. We're not trying to grip, uh, grapple with it in any way. It's just here. And it's here. And it's here. And we don't have to do anything apart from just open ourselves to that reality. And even the act of trying to open is a, is a pointless activity. It's a kind of separating out in some way. I have to open. It's just a settling. A real kind of um, uh, different way of approaching practice. Okay, well, I've got two minutes to get through all this, so I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to jump straight to uh, a simple, simple reading uh, to refer to this, uh, the third path, the way of practicing. I'm just going to leave that as a, uh, as a reading. So this, uh, this comes from a really fantastic uh, text which I'd recommend to you all. It's called The Flight of the Garuda and it's um, just a lovely set of, of uh, writings. Uh, it's called Songs. They're a collection of songs and uh, this is part of one of them. Abandon all fixed views, all preconceived notions and all parameters of vision. As there's nothing to meditate upon, let be whatever arrives adventitiously. There's no particular way to behave, so give up evaluation, judgment and criticism. <coughs> and because there's nothing to attain, forsake all expectations of results. Whatsoever can be is total presence. So do not cling to any one thing. Nothing is it. 
so do not judge and criticise. No intellectual concepts are valid, so do not presume. Primarily pure, intrinsic awareness, naturally radiant, transcends the intellect and all objects of mind. So there's nothing to see, as its essence has no root, no ground. There is nothing to meditate upon. As its reflexive release is beyond all imitation and extremes, there's nothing to do based on conscious or rational design. It's beyond striving, accomplishment or ambition. There is no fruition. This essence is emptiness. So abandon self-denial or self-improvement. Its nature is empty radiance. So let your diligent effort drop away. Everything is unobstructed. So forget your preferences. Just as all phenomena arise, let them be. <clears throat> 